In this first video for exponents grade 9, we are going to revise the first two exponential laws. Let's start off by revising the exponential notation. In this case, a is the base, b is the exponent, and the whole value is called a power. When you receive a value that is written in exponential form, the exponent, in this case 5, indicates how many times the base of 2 is multiplied by itself. So in this case, 2 is multiplied by itself 5 times, and this is the expanded form. The actual value will be 32. When expressions are given in exponential form, you can make use of exponential laws to simplify the calculation. In grade 8, you got to know these four exponential laws and the definition. In this video, we are going to revise the first two laws. If you feel that you need more in-depth revision of exponents, you can follow the link in the description to the grade 8 exponent videos. The first two exponential laws can be used when you multiply and divide the same base. Law 1 says that when you multiply the same base, you can add the exponents. So when you are asked to simplify and given 2 to the power of 7 times 2 to the power of 4, you will keep the base the same and add the exponents of 7 and 4 to get a new exponent of 11. This indicates that 11 twos are multiplied with each other. The second law says that when the same bases are divided, you subtract the exponents. Here we now have 2 to the power of 7 divided by 2 to the power of 4, so again the base stays the same. The difference is that we now subtract the exponents, so we will say 7 minus 4 is 3. This indicates that after the 7 2's were divided by the 4 2's and simplified, 3 2's are left over, which is 2 to the power of 3. These laws can also of course be applied to variables, and here we can use the first law for the bases that are the same, so for the x's. That means we will add the exponents of 10 and 7, to get to x to the power of 17, which should be multiplied by y to the power of 3. Because these are two different bases, this is our final answer. When dividing variables, we can use the second law. So here, when we divide, the base still stays the same, and we subtract the exponents. So now it's important to remember that that bottom base has an exponent of 1, so here we will say 7 minus 1 is 6. Next, we're going to have a look at how these two laws can be used in algebraic expressions. Example 1. Simplify and leave your answers in the simplest exponential form. In A, you have to multiply and therefore you can use law 1. I'm reminding you that the exponential laws will only be used for those bases that have exponents. The 2 and the 7 are therefore multiplied as normal and will give a value of 14. Next, I'm going to use the first law for those bases that are the same. So here I will have x to the power of 7 because I add the exponents. This still needs to be multiplied by y to the power of 7. In B, we still need to multiply, but it is now indicated with brackets. Again, the minus 10 and the 3 will be multiplied as usual, because they do not have exponents, and minus 10 times 3 is minus 30. Now I'm going to use the first law for the different base variables. Firstly, for the x's, I will add 2 and 4 to get an exponent of 6. Then for my y's I will have an exponent of 5 and for z it will also be an exponent of 5 
because the second z has an exponent of 1. In C, we now have division, so we are going to use the second law. But before using the law, the 25 and the 5 can be divided as normal, because they do not have exponents. And 25 divided by 5 is 5. For my variables, I can now simplify the same basis. So I'm going to subtract the exponents because I'm dividing, and that is the second law. The exponent of x is 1, which you don't have to show. For the y, when I subtract the exponents, I will have 4 minus 2, which will give me 2. In d, we are still dividing, and again I'm going to divide the minus 2 over 20 as normal. I'm reminding you that the minus in front can also be written with the 2 in the numerator, or even with the 20 in the denominator. All three of these options mean the same thing. So here we have a negative value, and 2 over 20 can only be simplified to 1 over 10. And for the variables, I'm going to use the second law for division, and say that 10 minus 5 will give me 5. I can also choose to write minus 1 over 10 multiplied by x to the power of 5 next to the fraction. The following two examples will be law 1 and 2 combined. In A, we will have to multiply as well as divide. In this case, it is now your choice whether you first multiply or first divide. I'm going to multiply first, so here I will have 3 multiplied by 4, and that will give me 12. When I multiply the two variables, I'm going to use the first law, which means I will add the exponents. This should now be divided by 6, x to the power of 6. For the 12 and the 6, I'm going to divide as normal, and say 12 divided by 6 is 2. For the variables, I will use the second law, and subtract the exponents, so 7 minus 6 is 1. In B, we once again have division as well as multiplication, and again I will start by multiplying. 5 times 3 will give me 15, and next I will use the first law for the x's and add the exponents to get x to the power of 5. This is also multiplied by y to the power of 4. Now I will divide, and 30 divided by 15 is 2. And now I can use the second law for the variables, saying 8 minus 5 is 3. And the same law will be used for the y's, and 9 minus 4 is 5.